Hello, I am Michael McIntyre and my Netflix special, Michael McIntyre Showman or Showman, whatever you want, it's available now worldwide. So if you live on the world, it's available to you. Um, I am in the Late Late Show virtual green room, which very heavily resembles my own house. And I am here to solve British problems uh, from Reddit, apparently, uh, because I've been asked to do that. So come on, whatever are these problems, and I'll, I'll start handling them and solving them. So trying to work out if the country select box on the website is Britain, Great Britain, England, or the United Kingdom. Ah, very, very good question. Yes, the problem is I live in a place which has many, many names. So what you do is you click on all the country select, which is alphabetical. So you're probably looking for the United States of America, which is all the way. So that's the scrolling thing. So there's a lot of scrolling that, that has to be done. What we have to do is we have to pay attention the whole way through. So you have to pay attention for England. That's the first one in the alphabet. And then if it's not that, it's going to be Great Britain. And if it's not that, you naturally assume that it's the United Kingdom, which means you have to head all the way down to the USA and Uzbekistan and Ukraine and whatever else is down there. But often what happens incredibly frustratingly, you realize that actually they kind of had an inkling you were there anyway in England and they left it at the top. And its own little section, which means you have to scroll all the way back to the top, which is an incredible, unnecessary workout for your index finger, which is why British people tend to have a more muscular index finger than all nations from around. You see that? What a hunk. Next question. Someone in the office keeps typing tar muchly instead of thank you, but I want to start doing cartwheels down the stairs. Um, is doing cartwheels down the stairs a negative thing? It's just that the expression cartwheels down the stairs, if you want to throw yourself down the stairs, then I understand that that would, that would probably give you quite a lot of pain because you're so frustrated with this tar muchly situation. But if you're actually able to cartwheel down a flight of stairs, I feel like we should just forget the question and you should immediately upload video footage to YouTube because that is an extraordinary skill. In fact, I am so, grateful for you offering up this wonderful sight to my mind of you cartwheeling down the stairs that all I can say is tar muchly. In the last few days my daughter has used the words mom, jello and fanny pack. I'm sorry I have failed. If you're American then these all these all make sense of course because the, the mom <laughs> is mum. But mom is fine. Mom, mom. I think it's quite endearing, actually. Mom. My jello is jelly. That's just, it, it, either one is fine. I have no objections to that. I don't think you failed. Where I think maybe you have failed is this fanny pack thing, because fanny, it's just, it's an uncomfortable word. It's an uncomfortable word to say. It obviously means two different things, depending on where you are. And as soon as you go across the Atlantic, you don't really want to be saying fanny very much. Um, at all. Uh, we call it a bum, bum bag. And just to give you a clue as to the, the mistake you're making is that if it were to be a fanny pack, that might be actually in front of you and you would have to be female.